Hello and welcome to the most powerful pickup truck and the fastest pickup truck build ever in automation game. Uh, this thing is called the Model X. Yes my friends, this bulky boxy pickup truck is called the Model X because of its engine. This thing has legendary, the legendary V12 King engine. Yes my friends, the V12 King engine. If you don't know what the V12 is, let me give you a little clip so you can watch. So yeah, you, you have seen what the V12 King can do, which is 3,515 horsepower, 3,293 pound-feet of torque. A pretty big beast indeed. 16.2 liter V12 twin turbo, uh, with of course and mated to a uh, to a double clutch six-speed gearbox with all-wheel drive, with of course 50/50 power power distribution to the front and the rear differential, which push. Which, is, which, which makes this thing get, go, goes from 0 to 100 in 2.0 seconds. Yes, my friends, 2 seconds only. This is super bike acceleration in a bulky boxy pickup truck. Absolutely brutal. So this thing, according to automation game, can go with, its, with, a, with, a, with a top speed of 454 kilometers per hour. That's according to automation game. So we will be testing that in a minute and see if it's true or not. Uh, let's see, this thing cost $500,000, yes my friends, 500k dollars, that's, that's a lot of money for a pickup truck, but remember this, is, this thing has 3,515 horsepower, I mean double, double the power, for, more than double from the Bugatti Veyron and the Bugatti Chiron, wow. I forgot the Bugatti Chiron 1500 horsepower or more. I forgot. So yeah, let's say double double the power of the Bugatti Super Sport, Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. Double more than double, which is brutal. This thing weighs 1,886.6 kilograms, and this thing can do 4.3 miles to the gallon. And uh, we'll be testing that all of that. Not, not the economy of course, we will be testing the top speed, we will be doing a couple of laps here on the on the uh, west coast racetrack and we also will be doing some drag racing as well to see what kind of times we can get. Alright so let's try the couple of laps first here and see how it will perform. So let's fire up the big beast, 16.2 liters up front, warming up, cycling all that oil and and coolant, look at that beast. Twin turbocharged. So you really have if you want to drive this thing, you need you need to be really 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 careful. I mean you can't really push open the throttles. You, you really can't on a racetrack. And uh, you really need to be careful. A little mistake and the brakes will fade and of course you will crash and you will total the whole car. You will you will lose five hundred thousand dollars. So you need to be really, really careful. This thing has racing brakes, massive, massive racing, racing disc at front, as you can see. And, and the rears are not really massive, but the front are really, really massive, according to this rim size. So yeah, even with those massive brakes, even with 100 brake pads, this thing makes those brakes fade absolutely immediately. So you need to be really, really careful. All right, there you go. Look, in drive right now, we are driving like 
normal automatic and we are already 160 kilometers per hour. Look, this thing can easy hit any speed you want, any speed, easy, without any effort. Look, I'm pushing only 10%, 16% of throttle, 70%, and I'm going 140 already. Look, 36%. Of course, oh my god, you see, I told you you need to be really careful. We have massive white tires, semi slick tires. Alright, let's open the tabs a little bit. mistake and you will crash this thing. I didn't look the brakes are already fading. I'm not pushing the throttle I mean, that was just a tiny bit of throttle and oh my god. The suspension tuning on this thing is amazing. Yes, it feels very, very hard for the track, but it's also some. It's also a little bit soft for the road. I, I really can't open the tabs because I did a lot of laps on this on this track here, and I've crashed so many times. The torque is brutal. The turbos, when they spool up, the gates of hell will open. Oh my god. I mean, changing gears. Yes, it's do clutch. That means pedal shifters. And even that is brutal. This thing can do, according to automation game, 1 minute. 45.51 in you know, automation test line. Wow. Oh, that was really close to crashing this beast. Look at the brakes! 800 Celsius. But they cool down quickly, which is a good thing. Alright, so we did our laps here. Let's let's go back to the finish to the start line and then let's move on and go to the, to the drag to, to the drag strip. Seeing 300 kilometers per hour, look at the brakes. So seeing 300 kilometers per hour is really easy. And we'll be seeing all the details, so don't skip the video. I'm going to show you the slow motion acceleration in, on the drag strip. I'm going to show you the times. We will do a speed, uh, a top speed run see what's top speed on this thing but first let's reach the drag strip we will have so much fun testing the capabilities of this beast here all right here we go this is this the drag strip on my right oh, here we go here we go yep getting there in reverse here we go then. So uh, yeah, as you can see, the steering is a little bit too sensitive. I think this is a bug in the game. It happened with me in in a lot of cars, especially the cars that you have sent to me for the uh, for the muscle car challenge. This thing happened so much to the look. Look at the steering. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's fire up some laps here and see how much how, what kind of time we will get on the drag strip. But first. Before we find up the, the timing, let's slow the time and see how this thing actually accelerates. First, no, no, no. First, let's uh, 
let's uh, we call it stage this thing yes we need to stage it oh, I think we went too far here we go get back a little bit here we go job done now here we go here we go it's green I should I should set off but let me rev the engine first now, look at those four-wheel drive. Wow, that was a little wheelie, actually. Look, look what happened in slow motion. Now, this is 100% all the power of the engine. And yep, look at the steering. I, I'm, I'm correcting it to prevent this thing from crashing. Already 250, 260. I'm slow. This is slow mo. This is slow mo, my friends. All right, let's go to the real speed now. Oh, stop! 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 stop. Uh, to crash this thing. Oh, and yep, we did crash it. All right. So the brakes, yes, they are fading, but the, that, that's because of the weight of the truck and of their sizes. I can't really put bigger rims and bigger tires. I tried that and it failed. So the best results are on these uh, rims and tires and those brakes, unfortunately. So now let's fire up some, uh, some uh, drag racing time lapse and see what's what. Alright, so we are back now. We are officially on the on the drag strip with timed uh, drag racing. All right, let's see how much this thing or how fast this thing on the quarter mile. I already did some time with it. I will be sharing that with you in a minute. So let's see right now. Oh, traction control is on. It's okay. go first start this is very slow let's try again because I did many many times as you can see the Model X and the quickest one is 7.050 so yes that's very slow because of the traction control so let's turn that off and try again go Alright, 7.3.0.1 Not bad, but well, we can do better mm -hmm. 7.2 Alright, a little better Yep, worse. Let's try again. Seven point two one eight four. All right, we are getting much better. So yes, you, can, you with time and with repeating so many so many times, you can actually. Uh, get it to go in these times 7.1, 7.50. Yeah, that's those are all my quickest time, and all of them are in my in this model X, as you can see. All these 50 times the slowest one was this, and the quickest one was that 7.050. So, this thing is a massive, overpowered beast. And look at it when you are breaking it shakes, it dances, the, the bed is dancing. So, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty beast indeed. And now let's go and find out and find out what how much or what's the, what's the top speed on this thing on the endless highway map all right let's move on okay so we are right now on the endless highway map which is a big massive highway that you can max out any car on it max out the top speed of it so let's get it off the off the dirt here 
and start slowly, gently. Alright, here we go. Here we go, the beans. So, 457.56, same as automation gain. Look at the camera. So, so the camera doesn't work on these speeds. Wow, you can only drive like this. Any other camera, it won't work. All right, let's let's try and. Break this thing, you know, test the brakes. Three, two, one. Wow, what a beast! 457 58 kilometers per hour. That's the top speed of this thing. Yes, of course, everyone will say a 3500 horsepower. This thing can go easy easily like 500 kilometers per hour or even more and that's true but remember this is a pickup truck and this is the only body uh, that i could fit this massive engine in i've tried suvs i've tried vans i've tried uh, many 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 vehicles and yeah this pickup truck was the only one to fit this engine i also i i once i, th I think I, I tried a muscle car once but that was a complete failure, especially on top speed runs. That was very good on a straight line. I think with the V10 or v the V12 King, I forgot. And yes, so that's the only stable. This is the only stable body with this engine on on high on high speed, as you saw. So let's try again with the cinematic. This one, this camera. Let's, let's try first on slow speed. See if it can actually keep working because this thing is broken at 400 kilometers per hour the camera all right the beans here we go wow this thing is i mean i really can't control the car look at it the car is dancing and i really i really want to control it but with this camera it's nearly impossible because yes this this car needs a little a little, a little bit of steering input on 400 kilometers an hour but look at it oh that, that's the wall that's the wall over there yep that's the wall at the end I need to be careful because if I don't break we will hit that wall at 450 kilometers per hour which is a shame because I like this car so much Should we try it? All right, let's see how a 450 kilometers per hour crash looks like. Let's give it some distance first. All right, that's enough. I'm sick of those brakes, by the way. So, not really 400 kilometers per hour, but really, really close. You know, really, really close speed crash. So, 93, 94, 95. I mean, we are really close. So, that's the slowest. Oh my god. Wow. I mean,. What happened here is just, you know, the engine is now in the bed. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this car. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, get subscribed, share the video if you want to share it. So this is the Model X then. So if you want to get this car to drive it 
on your on your beam in to drive to drive it to drift it to do whatever you want with it the link in the description below for my patreon page sign up download this car and enjoy it and have so much fun with it so uh, and of course by downloading this car you will be supporting the channel you'll be support you will be giving me more motivation and more support to do much much more than this uh, so the the upcoming events the next week or this Friday I think this Friday the upcoming event is of course is driving all the muscle car all the muscle cars uh, vehicles that that has that has participated in this challenge which is a very a very very nice and big event and I'm really really looking forward to it uh, anything else special I don't think so just normal videos I'm gonna try and do some special videos very very soon like crazy builds maybe. Maybe some drift machines, maybe some engine replicas. Who knows? But I'm really looking forward to the, uh, the to the muscle car 1970s muscle car challenge this Friday. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you over there, over then. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and uh, as well as always, hit that thumbs up, get subscribed, share the video, and watch my previous videos. Watch the Automation King series, so you can watch the all the engines. In their maximum horsepower and maximum capacities starting from the inline 3 all the way to the v16 engine of all you will find out the link right now here just press it watch that series and have so much fun and don't forget to leave your th in your thoughts in the comment section below i will see you very very soon and goodbye for now my friends